poaching toast to an incredible 15 minute pounds maestro. He could be Chelsea's next Makulele. Chelsea's midfield is undergoing an outside stiff rebuild. The long surfing, triumvirate of Giorgino, and Kante and Matteo Gavasic has seemingly been disbanded. In January, the Blues began their transition to a new midfield when Enzo Fernandez from Benfica was signed for a record-breaking fee. Romeo Lafia has been tipped to be the next stage of Mauricio Pochettino's process. What's the latest on Romeo Lafia to Chelsea? According to Football at London, the Blues have over the talks for the same asset, and a fire seal is expired on the South Coast following the Saints' relegations to the Championship. The 90 or so only joined it from Manchester City last summer for a modest fee of £10 million, and he has outlet reported that Stimpton could demand around £15 million for his services. The four, the West Londoners, are said to renew their interest in the Belgian, who then made the last stage a team to pins on the dead on day last August, who can Romeo Lafia replicate at Chelsea. The one cap in the national has emerged as a combination of a competent ball carrier and a ruthless protector of the back line. As he ranks within the top 25% in Europe, still five legs among his positional peers for past completion and successful takes owns for 90, as well as the top 29% for takeoffs, interceptions, and blocks for 90. Furthermore, the answer is one of only three U21 players in the same bracket. With one positional in the midfield third, 100 plus times 114. Both schools has hit with price on the prodigy and see it acting as a player with so much potential. And he could potentially go back, but he has settled in so well. He's got a pass in his locker, and he's big and strong and likes to defend. He does not want to get forward too much and sits in front of the back four and sets the play in motion from there. He's a young player who can do both sides of the game, equally good defensively but also once he is won the ball, he has tremendous speed and can pass it. Lafayette's profile, his ability to read the game, his importance to his corner side, and the way he guards the fans are reminiscent of the role that Claude Maguire adopted at Stamford Bridge. The Frenchman made 270 francs for the Blues. Notably winning two Premier League titles and an FA Cup, his talents were so widely recognized that the defensive midfielder position has been colloquially labeled as a Marquelle role. His combative, energetic style allowed him to constantly break up opposition attacks, anticipate his opponent's movements, and effectively time his challenges. His potential awareness and intelligence are too uncoachable traits that Lafia seems to invaluably passes. Described as incredible by Pep Guardiola, Lafia is destined for the top and a move could hugely elevate his career to the next level.